Welcome back. It's now time to go into the NWA from this past week. Starting with NWA Anarchy Friday the 13th, BJ Hancock defeated Adrian Hawkins. The franchise, Ryan Michaels and Matt Sells beat the hate junkies, Danny Only, and strike in by disqualification. Shadow Jackson defeated Jeremy Vane. Chris King defeated Dustin Knight. Don Matthews defeated the Royston brawler, John Carnage, in a Ty Cobb street fight. Donovan Sweet defeated JT Talent, Bo Newsom and Kareem Abdul-Jamar defeated St. Anthony and Brandon Parker. Seth DeLay defeated Slim J. NWA Wisconsin on the 13th. Brian Skyline defeated, defeated Billy Goats. Uh, Blazin Benjamin defeated Jason Crash. Mace Mo Morgan and Chris Black were the sole survivors of a tag match. Silas Young defeated Dr. X to become the undisputed NWA Midwest Champion. Justin Dredd defeated Trick, Trick Davis to become the new ICW Heavyweight Champion. Danny Havoc defeated Chase McCoy, Cody Rice, and Jason Hades. Uh, Troy Walters defeated Dysfunction, Mickey McCoy, and the Ninja. And the finals of the Insane 8th Tournament, Danny Havoc defeated Troy Walters. NWA Southwest World of Wrestling. DJ King had to vacate the World of Wrestling Texas Heavyweight title due to an illness. Golden Prince successfully defended his Cruiserweight title over Chaotic and Hector Montoya. Claudia Del Solis successfully defended her women's title, beating Darcy. Galan Ramirez, the NWA Junior Heavyweight Texas Champion in a non-title match, defeated Jasper Davis. And in your tournament matches, Alucard defeated Silky Bane, Suicide Messiah defeated Mysterious Q, and Chaz Taylor defeated Seth Corbin. Now, NWA Charlotte had their second show ever on Valentine's Day. Here are the results. The New Wave, Derek Driver and Stephen Walters defeated Jeff Lewis and Zach Salvation. Chemo defeated Manscout in, eight, in 48 seconds. Team Ego, Abel Adams and Will Snap defeated Chaotic Agony, Joey Agony and Ryan Chaos. Josh Magnum defeated Malachi and Caleb Conley in a Thorn and Roses TLC match. Baby Doll defeated the Barbarian to win the NWA Mid Atlantic Heritage title. Awesome Kong defeated Mischief by disqualification. Mischief still the NWA Women's Champion. And the team of Raven, Timber, and Truett Fields defeated Shatter, Michael, Judas, and Ryan O'Reilly. Their next event is on February the 28th. The DVD of the January 24th show will be available at that event. Now, I also got blank, two blank pieces of paper, which I'm going, three blank pieces of paper, which I'm going to add to my printer at the end of the day. NWA East had a show on St. Valentine's Day as well. James Ross defeated Chris LaRusso to stay the NWA East Three Rivers champion. Dash Bennett defeated the Blue Dragon. The franchise players, John Kronika and Robert Beverly, defeated LA Guns of Flea and Axel in the first round of the NWA East Tag Team Title Tournament. Gregory Iron defeated Mantis. The Straight Jacket Mafia, Sicko, Sean Dahmer, and Apollon defeated a boy and his dog, Hobo Joe and Moondog Scrape, in about 30 seconds. Patrick Hayes and James Ross defeated Pittsburgh sports anchor John Burden and Chris Taylor in the first round of the NWA East Tag Team Title Tournament. Scotty Gash defeated Ryan Mitchell to stay the NWA East Heavyweight Champion. And Lord Zoltan defeated Crusher Hansen by countout. NWA Southwest PWF had a show in Amarillo, Texas. Thomas Trump defeated Pinky LaRue. Al Farad defeated Dice Murdoch. Chance Williams defeated Mark Wilson. Joey Armstrong, an enemy, defeated Rufus Lee Wilkins and Mo Body. Star defeated Gloria Shockley. And Awesome Andy defeated 50 caliber Sex Pistol Cody Jones. NWA Wisconsin ACW had a show on Valentine's Day. Denti Moore defeated Dysfunction to become the new ACW Heavyweight Champion. Uh, Mason Quinn successfully defended the Wisconsin heavyweight title, beating Tejas by disqualification. Mason Morgan defeated Cody Rice. Six-man tag action saw TW3, J. Cash, and Douglas Do-Right Peterson defeat Shane Hills, Chase McCoy, and Mickey McCoy. Dave Damone defeated Jerry Styles, and Justin Dredd defeated Brandon Hayes. NWA Pro Empire Wrestling Federation had a show on the 15th in Covina, California. Espiritu Inferno defeated the Vigilante. Aiden Riley defeated Snow Cow Club. Liger Rivera defeated Brandon Gatson and Devin Willis. Cyanide and Vintage Dragon defeated Roger Ruiz and Jeremy Jagger. Black Metal defeated Vision by disqualification to stay the EWF Heavyweight Champion. 
excuse me, and Ryan Taylor defeated Damian Slater to stay the EWF American Champion and NWA Southwest. South Para, Padre Island, Texas. Ryan Genesis defeated Don Juan Diablo. Managed by Dr. Azul defeated Andy Dalton. Big Dog defeated Schizo by disqualification. Pink defeated Dr. Azul. And Ryan Genesis, Schizo, and Andy Dalton defeated Don Juan, Big Dog, and Diablo in a six-man tag match. That's the NWA for this week. Now, next week on this show, WWE, hopefully some matches announced for WrestleMania. Ring of Honor, the Indies, maybe Japan, most definitely the NWA, and another DVD of the week. I will promise you that right now. It is going to be another DVD of the, of the week. Now, speaking of DVDs, if you are looking to buy some, mainly from IWA, Mid-South, Chakar, AAW, First Wrestling, CZW, whatever, Smart Mark Video has a sale right now where if you order, if you order $75 or more, 25% off your total uh, price, the sale ends Saturday night at 11.59 p.m. Now, the question of the week this week. The road to WrestleMania continues, and the weeks are going to wind down. Houston is hosting its second WrestleMania in as many years. This week's question of the week is, in your opinion, what major city in the world that has yet to host a WrestleMania should host a WrestleMania in the near future. My personal pick is Washington, D.C. Not because I live close to it, but the fact that Washington, D.C. at one time was the home of WWE when it was Capital uh, Wrestling, when uh, Vince McMahon Sr. was running things. And it's been a big city for the WWE for so many years, and it's shocking that after all these years that it has not been rewarded with a WrestleMania, and I think it definitely should. It is getting us. It is getting the Survivor Series this year, but really, it should be getting a WrestleMania in the near future. But to me, the true answer is New Orleans, not because of Hurricane Katrina. Yes, I know it's four years ago, but think about this. There has not been a show in the Superdome for wrestling in like 20 years. Can you imagine? WrestleMania in the Superdome, that could set all kind of attendance records if they did that event in New Orleans in the Superdome. That would be a huge deal for not only the WWE, but for New Orleans and their economy. Their, you know, We've seen over the last couple of years the economy of the city on WrestleMania weekend goes up big time, especially in millions of dollars. So I think New Orleans should get a WrestleMania in the near future. Give me your pick of a major city that has never hosted a WrestleMania in the world. And I'll read it right here next week. Don't forget this Sunday night is the Academy Awards. The movie The Wrestler is up for two Academy Awards. Marissa Tomei for Best Supporting Actress and the big one, Mickey Rourke for Best Actor. Hopefully, Mickey, you get this Oscar. That was one of the best performances of all time. One of the great movies of all time. Uh, good luck. And uh, I will see you all next week right here. And until then, this is Billy Ankovi saying so long from the Old Line State.